We do have a red flag warning again in effect from 12 p.m. until 8 p.m. this evening. Sustained wind for those windy spots included in the red flag warning will be anywhere from 20 to 25 miles per hour, gusting up to about 40 miles per hour at times. So definitely going to be very windy and with the dry air and the drought in place, you know any fire that starts is going to spread rapidly. So please do your part and remember one less spark equals one less wildfire. Tomorrow will be the coolest day with highs in the 70s, even here in Tucson and this could be our last day in the 70s until you know maybe November or December so enjoy it while it lasts because it's not going to last long and we actually have a chance for some moisture mainly along the Arizona New Mexico border this weekend so I'll show you just how much we could see coming up but let's go ahead and focus on this red flag warning real quick it includes those same typical spots most of Graham and Greenlee County Cochise County Santa Cruz County as well as Eastern Pima and Pinal County this does include the Catalinas and Rincons too and all the high elevation so please keep this in mind for today. Still pretty uh, breezy for Tucson, Casa Grande, Ajo and Cells, but the gustiest wind will be to the east. And we could even see a little bit of blowing dust, especially to the east of Wilcox. So here's a look at the forecast gusts as we head towards 8 a.m. this morning, mainly just between 10 to 20 miles per hour. But then by noon, those reds and uh, pinks and purples already begin to show up. So that's the wind gust we do not like to see. Gusts around 30 to 40 miles per hour at that time, continuing through 4 p.m. and even up until 8 p.m. But it will get a little bit better after about 8 o'clock tonight when that warning expires. Overnight, the wind will be pretty calm. And then for your Friday, it won't be as windy, but definitely not a calm day. Still a little bit of a breeze at times with gusts between 20 to 30 miles per hour. High temperatures today, mainly in the low 80s. So we're getting closer and closer to that average high for this time of year which is 82, so still just slightly above it. Overnight tonight, mainly in the 40s and low 50s, so it will be a little bit of a cooler start for your Friday morning. To the south Andes, mainly in the 70s, low 80s though for Safford, Green Valley, Ajo, and Cell. So definitely getting a little bit cooler. As we head towards the weekend, this area of low pressure could bring us a little bit of moisture as we head towards Saturday night and Sunday. Looks like the best chance, though, will be mainly to the east along the Arizona New Mexico border. And then once that system kicks out of here, we're just going to warm it up, potentially low 90s by Wednesday. So here's an idea of the rainfall totals. Could see maybe about a tenth of an inch for a good portion of uh, Greenlee County at the very least. A little bit of Graham County getting in on that action, and even Cochise County could see a little bit of rainfall. While while moisture is limited and we're not going to see a whole lot. As we all know, anything is better than nothing. Unfortunately for the rest of us, though, it does look like we're going to miss out. No triple digit heat in the forecast, but again, our ice break contest is still underway. You just enter via the News 4 Tucson app, so very simple. Rules and prize details are on kvoa.com, and I'll get out of the way so you can see all of those cool prizes. You know, we've got AC units. You can win a weekend getaway to Desert Diamond Casinos, so lots of prizes to give away this year. Be sure to enter. We just want you to guess our first 100 degree day and the time in the afternoon that you think it will happen and you don't have to just enter once you can do it twice three times four times however many times you want looking ahead at that seven day forecast breezy to windy for the next few days friday the coolest day and then we'll be back in the low 90s by next wednesday destiny back to you